here we see the Rode NTG2. It lies here in its natural habitat, preparing for a hunt. It first must attach the boom pole to its lower body. This must be screwed in clockwise until tightly secured. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. The red cable then gets inserted into the blimp. This generates a satisfying clicking sound. The Rode NTG2 must then wrap the cable around its boom pole to ensure it does not dangle during the hunt. Finally, it must plug itself into the zoom. It is now ready to start the hunt. An unknowing victim. Um, yeah, I'm doing well. The power button must now be pushed in and held until the screen illuminates. Sound is now clearly being captured and the recording process can start. PFL is pressed and phantom power is selected. It is important to note that the levels must be between minus 12 and minus 6. As a shotgun mic, its hearing capabilities are limited to front facing or in other terms, this creature is unidirectional. The Rode NTG2 has thick fur surrounding its body or blimp. This is often referred to as a dead cat. This allows it to record during windy conditions and limit unwanted sounds being recorded and also be removed if not needed. With a full stomach, it is now time for the Rode NTG2 to return to its burrow. The cables are unplugged and spooled, kept in place with tape. The boom pole is detached and placed in its own separate burrow. Finally, the SD card is removed and is ready to be uploaded. Don't forget to back up your recordings.